I hope y'all having a lovely day on this Monday morning, man. And I, I thank the most high that we all woke up, huh? Because some of these children that this gentleman right here killed will never wake up again. And they did not get to wake up this morning. With that being said, welcome back to another edition of Rebuke All Devils Radio 107.7, home of the truth. And this story is courtesy of Hip Hop Vibes. White Mississippi teenager fatally shot two kids and wounded four others at a house party. Shout out to HAV, HHV editor for bringing us this story. And here's the, the alleged killer right here. Here's the alleged killer we're looking at right here. Mississippi teen shot six kids at house party with two fatalities. Situations like these have become so common that it's not even breaking news. This is a scary concession about how much things have changed for the worst. The saddest part is how young people can't even enjoy youth anymore. During this time of year, teenagers are normally partying. Previous generations were able to do this without worrying about coming back home alive. In Bay St. Louis, Mississippi, Two partying teenagers didn't make it back home alive. In addition, four others were wounded. Right now, there is so much going on with people. There is the ongoing discussion about people's mental health. However, there is also the mentality of people to worry about. The simple fact is that some people don't have the same morals. In fact, some people are simply cruel. When looking at a situation like this, it's hard to see past the person responsible being cruel. Cameron Brand is the Mississippi teenager responsible for the lost lives in Bay St. Louis. The young man was charged with murder and aggravated assault. There was a house party and Cameron Brand crashed it, opening fire. He would hit six teenagers with two of the kids losing their lives. The victims were all between the ages of 15 and 18 years old. Man, man, man. Look at that. Look at what this devil did. And these people are going crazy, man. And you know, they like to blame these situations on mental health. That's just an excuse. That's just an excuse. Because when some people of color do things, they never want to use the word mental health. But when, when, when a lot of times... When people that look like him do things, horrendous things like this, it's mental health. And that's not the case. What it is is that he's just a devil and he's a murderer. That's what it is. It has nothing to do with mental health. It, and, and our hearts and prayer go out to the victims. You know, may the, you know, may the most high give their family some kind of peace in this difficult time. But this is what kids are doing. This is what people like this is doing. How can you how can you throw your life away at such a young age? I've never understood that. I never understood that. You know, and I know when I was younger, and I'm not saying parties are the place to be, you know, or anything like that, but I went to a lot of parties, man. And and I and I was able to come back home, and I was able to grow up and be a man and become a father and a husband and things such as that. Something that those those two victims would never be able to do. And the world we're living in today is just so chaotic and full of confusion. And, and the first thing they think of is, is, is a gun is the answer. And it's not. And I'm not blaming it on the gun because you can have a loaded gun and that gun will never squeeze a trigger by itself. It's the, it's the evil people that do these unthinkable and unimaginable things that's responsible for the loss of life. With that being said, drop your comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to click on that notification bell, and I'll catch you on the next episode. Stay safe and shallow one.